YouTube. Um, I'm in front of my new package that just came in with my sprawled out tools. I just ended up putting together my new project. Um, I purchased online an affordable uh, wind turbine and I'm integrating that into my system. Um, I spent all of the time I had just basically wiring this up and deciding to end up using an extension cord um, that I had laying around with a 10 gauge wire in there uh, and running it through the brackets that I ended up um, making on my own and and then making that uh, work on a 10 foot pole post which is going to end up being 30 feet by the time that I'm done with it. Kind of improvised the design here using uh, metal pipes. What I have here is basically a bunch of half inch pipe fittings. Got an elbow, coupler, three inch piece in there, and then another elbow. And then that goes to, to be uh, screwed into this until I can get some concrete um, to mount that into. And then right here you have another, uh, you have a one inch uh, T to a coupler a female or a male coupler and then this basically is another T with a uh, half inch out just to give me a way of getting the cable out and then inside of here you have a four foot uh, one inch pipe that goes into the ten foot pipe just to give the pipe something to sit in and sit on um, thus allowing me to be able to pick this up from the ground without having to worry about it. I ran my wire through the uh, one inch pipe first and then basically put the sleeve of a pipe on there and the 10 inch pipe or 10 foot pipe easily fits into this the holes on the uh, turbine itself uh, was a two inch pipe but uh, I got an inch and six six uh, I think it's 1.66 inches is how they had it on the, the label um, you can actually see it right here got this from uh, Home Depot. Yeah, one and a half inches. They have 1.66 as an option as, as, as well. I ended up getting this one just to give me a little bit more uh, room and space so that the turbine can spin. Um, just finished assembling this, just finished wiring this up. Um, this is a DC turbine, so um, it basically trans it, it doesn't need a uh, It doesn't need to rectify the the AC power. Um, I might lose a little bit of energy on that, but this is my first turbine. It was a real affordable one, and I just wanted to work with that. This is a 48 volt turbine, so it should go well with my 48 volt uh, battery bank. Now, I will be asking for some advice and some information on these uh, turbines, as this is my first design. I would like to run this up and through somehow in parallel with my solar um this is a set of panels here this is, comes in at 80 volts but it mostly comes in at 60 with the mppt and i'd like to wire it up to that i'm not sure if i can um the other option is if i mount this on the other side of my shed I'll be able to run a wire or run a cord under the house and into the battery bank directly, which is how I believe they were saying you could. So my question is to you guys that are already with wind turbines, can you or have you guys seen where you can hook up a wind turbine directly to a solar charge controller in parallel? Or do you have to hook it up to the battery bank? That's a question you guys can ask for me in the comments. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to set the phone down so you guys can see a clear image of what I've done this morning and uh, see my new welcomed addition. Probably I'm going to buy another wind turbine, but this time I'll make an AC one so I can run it a little bit further from the house without worrying about line loss. Um, this particular turbine is 500 watts. Um, that should give me about 10 amps. So the wire gauge I have is pretty comfortable, but uh, <clears throat> I, I'm not comfortable driving it out too far from the house because I'll end up having probably eight amps go into the house by the time it makes it uh, start producing power. Okay, let me set the phone now for just a second. Hopefully 
for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Hold on. I need a mount. What a beautiful image of that thing going up. Oh man, the sun's right there. The turbine's right there, and that pivoted up just so easy. You can see I have my cord ready to come out. Once I get me a foundation port, it's gonna look so much better. Right now I'm just basically making it do what it does, which is hang in the air. Wow, that looks good. I might actually keep it there. I was thinking it cast a shadow on the panels. And right now it's about 9 in the morning. And the sun's coming in from this direction. And I'm not seeing any shadow. I'll probably still go up uh, another 10 feet if I keep it there. that would be put it about right there. I'm just trying to catch the winds. And that leaves me... I guess a few places to clamp it down um, on either side of the array. I'd have to tighten down some type of uh, cable ties to the top of the panel, so maybe. Um, but I can easily come up with a solution for that. Um, but did want to show you my turbine. Kind of excited about it. Um, I haven't really delved into that side. I bought a wind turbine, a 12 volt before. Um, played with that a little bit with a capacitor and uh, was able to get a little bit of power out of it This time I'm using a 48 volt bank and the main reason I'm asking questions now is I have a lot of expensive solar equipment That's top line now and uh, Basically, I don't want to end up destroying it. I do have a side project. I'm working on inside the home using my flex max 80 um, charge controller and uh, I'm basically a solenoid I'm waiting on a relay uh, currently to come in so that I can uh, wire it all up, but I'm improvising a dump load controller that's going to be uh, ran off of my FlexNet DC. Um, basically, the FlexNet DC will have a relay that acts as a switch um, to turn on the open ended of the switch that comes from my flex, uh, from my uh, FM80. That basically gives us a constant voltage. Uh, I think it's 1.2 amps. But anyway, that's going to trip the solenoid once the switch is open, saying that the batteries are full. And that's going to redirect um, the power coming in from solar um, to a second load. I'm thinking of another controller that runs like a baseboard heater or possibly uh, water heating, even though I'm already uh, pretty comfortable with the solution I have now. I'm just basically trying to find a way to use as much solar energy as I can now that my batteries are filling up 11 and 12 o'clock um, I don't want to waste another six hours of power trying to use it um, use things inside the house on the inverter I want to I want to do something different if you guys have any information on either sides of my project let me know um, I'll be working on this until my relay comes I'll basically be stopping where I'm at now um, maybe working on the mounting system a little bit more but um, I, I'm not going to hook anything up until I have those relays to be able to safely disconnect it um, so that I'm not damaging anything. I'm real excited. Uh, Ken, Kenny from uh, KV USMC, he gave me a lot of information on what to do as far as buying one. And I thank you for your recommendations. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go in and buy the AC version next. Um, this is what, like I said, it was in my budget at the time. And it ends up working out. It's, a, it's my first model. Uh, it's a test model. Um, I'm, I'm going to run this one and then probably a second one down the line. Maybe even a third if, if this works as good as I think it will. So uh, put your comments in there. Let me know what you guys think. Tell me your thoughts and experiences so that uh, I can get in and go ahead and get going with this. And uh, adding solar with wind turbine to my power bank. Alright. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.